Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Byrne. It's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, December 3rd, 2018. What's going on? How are you? How are you doing? Oh, I hope you're doing better than I'm doing. Jesus Christ. I'm in New York City right now. I don't think I've ever been lonelier in my fucking life. Good Lord. It's just like, you know, I don't know anybody in this city anymore. I used to fucking know everybody. I don't fucking know anybody. Looking for a familiar face. It's crazy. I'll tell you, this city, when you're 50 versus when you're 25, is completely different. So if there's anybody in their 20s living in New York, and I know you got a shitty fucking living situation like most people, but uh, that's your time, dude. It's your city. <laughs> so fucking enjoy it. Jesus Christ. First of all, it's December 3rd, and I'm like, oh, Christmas in New York is exciting. You know, I love the holidays and shit, you know? And I come here, and it's fucking, it's colder in L.A. than it is in New York. I don't, you know, this whole new fucking uh, post-Me Too era weather. You know, I'm going to blame the Me Too movement on uh, global warming. That's my next fucking brilliant move in my career. Um, so I went down, and I did a set tonight at the cellar. I did see Gary Gullman. I was like, oh, my God somebody i know and uh i went up i had a good time and then i uh i left and i'm walking in the rain by myself thinking of like when i used to walk up that sixth avenue i used to walk up with fucking you know fucking bobby kelly and all of those guys way back in the day and i'm just fucking like jesus christ where the fuck did the time go and then i was like oh my god now i'm getting depressed I, I can't do this. What, what do I, so I, you know, I called my wife, you know, I FaceTimed with my kid and that was all good. And then I got in a cab and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to, uh, you know, what is it? Whatever. You know, you have like a fucking sad thought and then you fucking just cling to it. It's like, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm going to get myself in a better goddamn mood. So I came home. I watched a little bit of football and then I watched the end of the fucking Steelers and the Chargers. We got the Chargers, the Steelers, the Sharks, and more. Anybody in Boston remember that? MVP Sports when they had the fucking employee do the commercial? Come on down to MVP Sports. We got all the jerseys. We got the Sharks, the Steelers, the Chargers, and more. Um, I watched that game. And right as I go to show it off, shut it off, it's that fucking, fucking infuriating slash depressing fucking commercial where it's the the dad with his daughter, you know, and she's getting older and he has his favorite fucking song, which is the most depressing thing ever. It's a song of regret. I wish that I knew what I knew then when I was younger, whatever, now what I know now, whatever the fuck I'm, I'm like fucking mentally dyslexic. So I don't know. I don't know how the exact thing fucking goes. And then in the end, she fucking goes away, right? So that's the whole song of fucking regret. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm looking back. Jesus Christ, I wish I fucking, you know. I don't need to hear that. That's the soundtrack of my whole fucking walk home. You know? And I'm sitting here, and that stupid commercial comes on. And as if that commercial isn't depressing enough, especially on a Sunday night. They should not be allowed to play that song on a fucking Sunday night. After when someone's sitting there in their fucking loneliness, about ready to start another work week. I wish... Dad, I knew what I knew then. Now what? I wish I knew what I wish that I knew what I know now. That's it. When I was younger, whatever the fucking song is. Then the end of the goddamn commercial is the daughter's all grown up now. The guy takes her to college. He's fucking heartbroken. And then she goes into her dorm room and he's got one of those fucking things, you know, you, you, you know, hey, cunty. Play that song me and my dad like, and it's sitting over in the corner just listening to her. I don't like that. I don't like how they're fucking sitting there. They're trying to make all of this shit, bugging your own house, hanging out with a robot and taking a picture with it in those Sprint commercials, making us all seem like, yeah, hey, this is all like a great, fun fucking time. Um, or maybe I'm just lonely and I'm looking at, through it like, you know what, too, is I'm not fucking drinking either. And I swear to God, if I was drinking right now, I would I would go to a bar by myself, and uh, that's and that's how you do it. That's how you that's how that's the most healthiest way I ever figured out how to combat loneliness on the road, is to go out, drink alone, get shit faced, and then come home and pass out 
and then you don't come home sober to an empty room. <laughs> but I feel like when I'm podcasting, I have all of you here with me. I feel like for me, podcasting is like giving a part of the world a hug. What did you guys do if I really legit, like I, I fell off a bike or something and that was the result of my head injury. And I started talking like that and I started wearing, you know those fucking, you know those fragile chicks who wear those sweaters that go over their hands and they, they're always picking up like a cup of coffee because they're always cold and they have to hold it with both hands because they're fucking so weak. If I became that person. Um, well, Bill, it's simple. We would listen for a few weeks and then we'd be like, all right, this sucks now. And then we wouldn't, we wouldn't listen. Hey, what happened over in England with the London Derby, which I thought was like a fucking horse race. This team that I, I never even heard of, I guess was up two to one against Arsenal. Our 